New England Boating is brought to you by the new GMC Sierra Denali. That's professional grade. Also brought to you by Pursuit Boats. Explore life in a pursuit. Also brought to you by your New England Yamaha Outboard dealer and by the Shipyard Brewing Company, award-winning handcrafted beer. Welcome to New England Boating. I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson, and we just towed our pursuit to Moose Landing Marina here in Naples, Maine. That's right, and this is where we're starting our adventure, right here in Brandy Pond. We're going to meet a family, do some water sports, we're going to find a dock and dine, we're going to check out the causeway, and then we're going to go through the locks to Sebago Lake. That's right, we're going to go to uh, Point Sebago Resort, mm -hmm. we're going to do some jet skiing, and yeah. we're also going to go to Fry Island Cafe and uh, do a little leap of faith, maybe. We are indeed. <laughs> New England boating Sebago Lake. Let's, Let's go. go. That lobster roll looks delicious. I'll give it to you. To another great destination. Are you shopping for me? Oh, there's a fish. Parker's goofing around. Gonna miss. Nick, short, sharp sweeps with the rod. Oh, we want the fish that can eat that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Parker. Tom, don't you? <laughs> here at the largest marina in the lakes region, Moose uh, Landing Marina, and I'm here with uh, Moose Landing uh, sales manager, Will Monson. Will, you know, you've made us feel very much at home here at the marina. You guys do a great job. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about the marina itself. Yeah, uh, 200 slips. Mm -hmm. um, it's the largest deep water marina here in the lakes region. We've got the capacity for uh, pretty much anything, full service marina, mm -hmm. fiberglass, uh, you know, mechanical work. Any kind of repair you need, anything you guys you take care of yep. it, right? Fuel dock here, pump out services, mm -hmm. transient slips, everything. We also do a huge rental business too. We have 52 rental boats. Yeah. And those are out just pretty much every day. And you have a lot of pontoon boats. A lot of pontoon boats. <laughs> Pondu pontoon Central, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we also sell boats too. Yes, you do. And uh, also, uh, it's a launch, you have a public launch ramp. We do, which, yep. And, we have uh, launch ramp here at parking. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, how much is that a day? Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks, pretty reasonable. Excellent. You're right here in uh, Brandy Pond, so you're close to Songo Locks and also close to Long Pond, right? Forty-five minute ride down to Sebago and uh, pretty much a five minute ride over to Long Lake. Yeah, Excellent. Right well, in the middle of it all. Well, like I said, you've taken great care of us on our Quite trip, pleasure. and uh, it's a great place. Come down and see Moose Landing Marina, and uh, Will will take care of you. No problem. Well, you know, I've just gotten to uh, Brandy Pond and my stomach's already growling. Good thing Ed Osborne <laughs> is waiting for us on the other side at Rick's Cafe. And good thing we have Rachel and Anna here at Moose Landing to help, help get, us get out of here. Get out of here. We've got a conveniently uh, located the Sisu 22 Eastern, Eastern Sisu 22, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go. I'm so hungry I can't even get it straight. <laughs> Let's go. Ahead. Let's go. I find people are friendly everywhere we go, Tom. That's right. Maybe, is it us? I think it is. Is it the uh, New England voting aura <laughs> that, we, that makes it happen? I think you get from the universe what you give. Hi, Ed. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Nice to yeah. see you. Ed, how are you? Hey, I, love the, I love the shirt, the yeah. guy Guyabera yeah. shirt. <laughs> you know, we didn't have to really flag us down. We just <laughs> exactly. look for the guy with the bright guy. So Guyabera. stand out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do indeed. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Oh wow, this is cool. First time here? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about this this place. The his this has some history. It does have some really interesting history. The building was built in 1902. We've been here now since 1986, our 29th season. And it's just a very, very interesting place. It's probably one of the oldest buildings. It's the center of uh, Naples. Right on the causeway. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot going on. You got it. You're right on the waterfront Beautiful here. Beautiful view of the lake. What? What? You, as a boater, you pond. know, we just we docked up here, so boaters are welcome to just come and pull up into an empty slip, or do they have to call ahead, or how does that work? Well, the, the dock across the street that you were using, um, it's owned by by the Naples Casino building, our company. Okay. But we lease it out, and uh, so we made arrangements for you to dock there. But we have a town dock that anybody can pop up. Oh, okay. Use. That's right next to where you guys. Very are. nice. I saw a lot of uh, rental machines that look very interesting. <laughs> yeah, don't get any ideas. <laughs> I'm not getting on those things. Big wheel bikes. I mean, some some really. <laughs> the apple bikes, as you call them. Exactly. <laughs> They're crazy. But you know what? Um, just a little quick issue. Bricks is from uh, Casablanca, the movie Casablanca. Uh, Tom, did I not say that? Did you not see Rick when you walked in? Uh, I know. Play it oh, again, Sam. Play. Nick, 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 that's I gotta crazy. tell you, buddy, 
<laughs> You're out of your mind. You're a braver man than me. <laughs> oh my goodness. He, he's going to give out. I know it. Oh no. Cheers. No, don't do it. No, no. no. Oh. Oh. Did I? I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got business on the lake. I've got to do some water sports with the family. Was this called cooling off? <laughs> That's a good idea, right? Daddy, it's your turn. Yeah, Daddy, your turn. You had a nice progression from yeah, your cider nice to the shandy. Flight. This will go zero to 65 in four seconds. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game, on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Explore, experience, and enjoy your life in Pursuit. Pursuit Boats. For more than 60 years, we have built premium boats with unmatched quality, durability, and performance. Whether you want action, adventure, or relaxation, we have the boat for you. We offer a wide range of models from 23 to 38 feet. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. No matter what your boating style is, Pursuit has what you need. Contact your local dealer today and explore, experience, and enjoy your life in Pursuit. For details, visit PursuitBoats.com. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha Forward Thinking, the all-new F200 inline four-stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel-efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all-new F200, legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. Log on to YamahaOutboardNewEngland.com to find your nearest Yamaha Marine dealer. Boating, it's not just a lifestyle, it's a passion. At Bosun's Marine, we understand that, and you'll see it in the way we treat you. Combining outstanding service with exceptional products. From Edgewater to Pursuit, Regal and Cruiser Yachts to Riviera Yachts, and now offering Chris Craft. Our inventory is second to none. With five convenient locations, you'll find what you need to get on the water in style. Don't wait. Stop by today and experience the Bosun's difference. We share your passion. So here we are in Brandy Pond, and I'm with a local family. I am with Dwayne and Ava. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Well, thank you. Also, Will is our captain. So, Dwayne, you guys uh, tube in here a lot? Yes. Tube and water ski and do all sorts of different fun things? Tubing and swimming. Mm -hmm. And now Ava's a pro? Um, she's been out a couple times, a, a, a swimmer. You're more of a water swimmer, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have my bathing suit, but if you show me how, I might do it. Is that a deal? Yeah. Yeah? Are Excellent. you sure? Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. yeah, you Excellent. first? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go, What are some of the tips? Hold on tight. Stay in the tube. Did she fall off? Or she... Stay in the tube, that's the key? Yeah. Otherwise, you're getting in the drink. <laughs> We had a great time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, too bad. Mommy couldn't come with us this time. Yeah. Maybe next time? Maybe next time. Dad yeah. was great, though, yes. We didn't quite dump him, though, did we? We tried. Yeah. We tried. Probably dump me next time, won't you? Yeah. Definitely. So what do you tell everybody about this area and water sports? Yes? Yes. It's awesome. Awesome. Awesome place to be. Yep. Lakes region. Yep. We saw a little lightning, so we're heading in. Otherwise, we'd be out here all night, yes? Yeah. yeah. Right?
I'm here in Naples. This is the heart of the lake region. I'm with Ed Osborne. He's been here for 29 years. Yeah, that's right. And uh, what you're walking on here is the new boardwalk that was just completed a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it took about uh, three years to do. And we converted the old swing bridge to now a fixed bridge. Yeah, it's really pretty. And so you call it a causeway? This is a causeway. It goes between two bodies of water, yeah. which is Long Lake and Brandy Pond. You know, this is where all the activities uh, sort of happen between um, the two bodies of water and uh, or the three bodies of water actually and um, all the people who are able to come to this area have a multitude of different water activities restaurants and great place to have your restaurant absolutely yeah. <laughs> you know we've had that there i think i mentioned to you 29 years and uh, pretty well known now yeah so you're, we're the, very you're the center well we try to be right yeah, exactly i'm here on the causeway and i just met liz liz hi hi liz has been coming here how long I've been coming here 52 years, wow. and I started when I was six months old. <laughs> Tell us why you love this region. We love it here. We love boating. We love the lakes. Um, it, it just home away from home. Yeah. It, it just wonderful to spend time with family. My dad just turned 87, and time on the life. lake is special. Yeah, so nice to talk to you, Liz. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Absolutely. <laughs>we just stumbled upon. Matt McFadden is a pilot here and has seaplane rides and he has offered to take us up so we can check out this Unbelievable. area. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's a seaplane. I've never been on one. I'm so well, excited. I'm glad to be part of that. So where are we going to go? We are going to take off up Long Lake and we're going to come back around and we'll fly down over Brandy Pond, catch the locks from the air cool. and then out over toward Fry's Island and around that take a nice tour of Fry's Leap and, and the whole area from the, from the air. That sounds amazing. Now, do you do this for tourists? I do, absolutely. And how often do you do this? Uh, we go up about oh, 7 to 12, 15 times a day. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah. so you must like flying. I love flying. And yeah, how long have you been flying? I've been flying for 12 years. Mm -hmm. and, and then teaching and instructing and float flying for the past for the past nine. Yeah, so well, we're going to land right in the water. Absolutely. Well, you know, this is a little straying a little bit from our boating uh, theme, Parker, right? But... It it's is, on the water. It's a flying boat. I think it's legit. <laughs> I think it's good. All right. I need my, I need my pilot. First time in a seaplane. Unbelievable. Technically, it's a boat now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McFadden, seaplane rides. Absolutely, come see me. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game, on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Moose Landing Marina is the largest on-water boating facility in the entire Sebago Lakes region. At Moose Landing Marina, we encourage you to get out on the waters and see why pursuit boats are not only robust and reliable, but are known for their world-class luxury. With our experienced sales staff, we're confident we can find the right boat for you. Sebago Lakes Premier Marina with exceptional accommodations. Visit MooseLandingMarina.com. Well, as we promised, we have another adventure. We're here with Will Monson of uh, Moose Landing Marina. He's the sales manager here and also an awesome tour guide because yep. he knows everything about the Songo Locks, yes? Yeah, close to it. Yep. So yep. we're going to go through the locks head over to Fry Island, but the locks themselves are going to be quite a trip, yes? Should be fun. Yeah. yeah it's one of the only hand-operated locks still around. So. And how, how long does it roughly take from here to get to Sebago? It depends on traffic, but typically no traffic, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. okay. Then we better... Let's get going! Let's go! <laughs> 
Okay, so we're at the uh, southern end of Brandy Pond, right? Absolutely. And uh, what's so what's happening here? We got the no wake zone. This is the entrance to the Songo River. This is going to take us down through the locks and into Sebago Lake. So at Moose Landing, there's a sign, and it says uh, Pontoon. What does it say? Pontoon Capital of New England. Okay, now is that legit or self-proclaimed? That is legit. Really? Yep, that is totally legit. Nicely done. Top side of the locks, as we come right around this bend here, you'll see the entrance. This is the swing bridge. That'll be open mechanically for us, and then the lock actually is uh, inside of that. Hi! Hi! How you doing? Right up the right side here will be fine. And so what's happening right now? We're, we're moving? We're actually dropping, yeah. So right now he's opening up uh, one of the valves which is letting water out of this lock. That's going to bring us down to the level of uh, Sebago. And then once we're down to Sebago, that door will open. We're going to go straight out, and then we're, we're into the bottom part of the river. So is it just this one lock on the on the river? This is the only lock that's left, yes. There actually used to be 27 locks. Really? This used to be part of a 50-mile waterway that actually ran from uh, Harrison, Maine, at the top of Long Lake, all the way down to the Portland Harbor. Thank you. See you folks. Thank you. This is kind of the tightest part right here. It opens up quite a bit though, yeah, as we go. How long of the season can you go through the locks and, and then through this river? Uh, locks are open May 15th to October 15th, uh, 8 to 5, and then the locks are open 8 to 8 uh, from uh, Memorial Day to uh, Labor Day. And that's the famous sand. That's the famous sandbar. It's famous sandbar. Yeah. Uh, so people just like beach their boat there. Yeah. Obviously they do. You I guys think we should. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at that. There we hey, are. You don't have to well, worry about the tide here, at least, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this nice soft sand. I would say. So this is where we clear the no-wake zone and head out on the Sebago Lake. Once we're past the end of the no-wake zone, we can head on over to Fry's. had a good trip down. Yeah, it was yeah, great. Absolutely. Thank the, you. The river was awesome. The walk experience was fascinating. Excellent. We are hungry. Well, we've got we've got food. <laughs> nice. Welcome. Thank welcome you. Fry Sleep Cafe. Well, thanks Thank a lot, you. Dave. Yes. Yeah. It's a little slice of paradise here, right? I it's would a, say. Uh, you know, you've got blue skies, the humidity's low. It doesn't get much better than this on the island. Sweet outdoors. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow, lots that of public looks good. For the healthy eater, bratwurst. There you go. <laughs> so Tom and I just got to have a delicious lunch with uh, Dave Wagner and his wife Amy, and they're the owners of this restaurant. Now Dave and I are going to chat a little bit about it. So tell us a little bit about when did you buy this and how did this come about in your life? Yeah, and so we, uh, this is our third year of owning, uh, of owning the restaurant and the cafe. We came to the island back in uh, back in the 2003 time frame when we, interestingly enough, we moved west to Arizona. Okay. But then when we got out there, we spent the summer there and suddenly it was like, oh my goodness, how do you live in 115 degree heat? <laughs> and then we decided to buy a place here on, on the island. And we've been introduced by family and it seemed like a great way to spend time with family during the summer and the like. And so we've been exposed to the island um, since the 2003 time frame and uh, always, had romanced, romanticized about, geez, wouldn't it be neat to own your own little business and things like that? Yes, on your own island. <laughs> yeah, and then it was like so quaint, this business here and yes. everything, right? But it was never for sale until 2011. And then when it went up for sale, it was like, geez, do we want to do something like this? And we uh, we jumped in, we jumped in. And you said, let's do it. We're going to make it happen, you uh -huh. know? Hello. Oh, and got a cold one in hand, even, right? I wanted to stay out of your hair while you did your hair. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Check it out. The Red Sox game having a cold shipyard, you know? We have 12 different beers on draft. We do little flights with five ounce, with five ounce samples with four different beers. I'd love to do the sampling. Let's do the flights. All right, so we'll do a shipyard APA. We'll do a big squeeze because you talked about sunfish. Let's do a Poseidon, and we'll do a cider as well. So. Certainly three of these, the Cider, the American Pale Ale, and the Shandy are really very light summer kind of beers that yeah. on a hot day are going to be very, very refreshing. Right. The Black IPA has got some heft to it. It weighs in, it weighs <laughs> in at 8%, at 8% ABV, oh, right? Boy. So 
You probably don't want to have more than yeah. one or two five ounce. So we're not, we're not, we're not, neither of us are running the boat. So, no. so well, that's good. good. That's good. Yeah. So then we can have a couple samples. <laughs> no, no, so. no, but no, but please. You may stay here you on Fry's Island. <laughs> we really yeah. had a nice time with you and Amy at uh, Fry's Leap Cafe. Oh, well, thank you so much. It was great. It was great having you guys I'm here as well. No, <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think I need a beer then. It's my turn. Oh, New England boating coming up. Stay with us. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game, on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting-edge features and top-notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory-authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in Pursuit. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha Forward Thinking, the all-new F200 inline four-stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel-efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all-new F200, legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. Log on to YamahaOutboardNewEngland.com to find your nearest Yamaha marine dealer. Striper Marina, a full-service marina serving Rhode Island for more than 40 years. Come and see our selection of boats, including a wide variety of pursuits, the 365 Sport Coupe, offshore models and center consoles like the 345 and popular C280 and C310, the next innovation in dual console performance, the 265, and the all-new OS325, where luxury meets unparalleled sports utility. Striper Marina, here to help you find the perfect boat for your needs. Check us out at stripermarina.com. Here we are, right outside of Point Sebago. Now this is a resort. It's our home away from home. It is. This is where we're staying. Yeah. And, uh, Will, you guys also uh, do some rentals out of here too, right? We do, yeah. yeah. We rent uh, pontoon boats out of here, uh, V-Hall runabouts, jet skis. Jet skis? Did you say jet skis? Paddle boards. We have everything here. <laughs> jet skis, huh? <laughs> yes, Tom. You've got to try one of those. Put on guess, your right? shades. You're ready to go. Vroom, vroom. Well, it's another beautiful day here at Point Sebago. I'm with Don Toms. He's the general manager of this fine facility, I guess. It's, it's, I don't know what to call it because you've got so much stuff going on. Tell us, if you can, in a nutshell, all about Point Sebago. At Point Sebago, we opened up in 1970 as a family vacation spot, and we have you know, 80 or so activities that go on for all ages every day. We have entertainment, uh, you name it, we have it all here. Yeah, I, saw, I think I saw a pirate ship heading out a little, yeah, a little while yeah. ago. Well, today is our pirate day, which we have four sold-out cruises that go on the Miss Margarita, and they're attacked by a pirate boat with cannons <laughs> and everything. They they fight on the beach with, with real swords, actually. Oh, really? really? Real swords. <laughs> we have choreographed routine. It's really super. Let's take a look, and it's what is, what is going on here. Enough of this. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and, and you've got lots of uh, kayak rentals, SUP rentals, canoe rentals. I mean, there's any manner of craft to take out and enjoy this protected area here, that's right? right? That's yep. right. That's right. All sorts of boats, you name it, uh, from pontoon boats to, mm -hmm. to jet skis. Sure. Power, non-power. And where, where, where would people stay here? Tell us about the variety of accommodations. Have accommodations anywhere. You can bring a, bring a tent, your RV. You can actually stay in one of our park homes, our resort cottages. Uh, also, we have uh, golf course rentals mm -hmm. around the golf course, and we have our 26-bed uh, lounge uh, lodge that uh -huh. you can stay out on the island. It's absolutely, absolutely great. That's yeah. great. So everything from the high end to the uh, basic and everything yes, in between. Yes. And we have anywhere from two to 3,000 people here any given day. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, I can see. I, a lot I, can, on the I can see, especially on a day like today. It's a uh, never a dull moment here at Point Sebago. Come down and see it for yourself, but don't go away because 
We've got Parker coming up next, and she's checking out the jet ski situation. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm here with Michelle Wheeler, and she is the manager here at Moose Landing Marina at Point Sebago. And let me say, this is not a small title, my friends. Wow. Michelle? Yes. Did I just see like a fury of people coming in at 5 o'clock after having rented? It's controlled chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So tell everybody um, all about this place and your rentals and what you do. Sure. We lease a small space here from Point Sebago. We rent out 14 pontoons, four jet skis three bow riders, kayaks, canoes, stand-up paddle boards, paddle boats, and we run a fuel dock. Now, do you um, jet ski too? I do. I just started jet skiing this summer. And now Tom and I are going to do that, and you're going to tell us a little your tips, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, because it's hard? <laughs> no, is they're it fun? fast. Yeah. They're very fast. No, we can make sure that. you're holding on. <laughs> that sounds good. All right. Once you get on here, you yeah. want to make sure you keep your life jackets on. Oh, you okay. want to keep kill switch on your left hand. These have forward and reverse, there is no neutral. So you wanna start it in reverse, and then once we get you turned around, you can put it into forward. You're gonna lift up on the yellow and put it right down. How fast, how down. fast will this machine go? This will go zero to 65 in four seconds. Oh, You're man. kidding me. Oh, not kidding. Like Tom and I have never done jet ski. Not, have you done a motorcycle? I've, 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 had, I've had a very uh, contentious relationship with jet skis as a fisherman. Um, but uh, I'm willing to give it a try. It is a water activity. It goes with New England boating, and uh, it can be used responsibly. It, it can. As I will show you. <laughs> yeah. But that means we can't race? We can go race. Yeah. Okay. So what do you say? You know what I say? <laughs> I say let's ride! Yeah! Once you get out into the middle of the lake, you can open it up. How about Staying close to shore, you don't want to be going very fast. Well, this is the end of New England boating episode, and it is a different one, isn't it? Well, yeah, we're here by the campfire. Who thought we'd be sitting by a campfire at Point Sebago? So quiet, mm -hmm. though. This is the beauty of Maine. All right, to find out more about other great New England boating destinations, go to NewEnglandBoating.com. Yes, and to see behind-the-scenes footage or to see where we're going to be next week, follow us on Facebook. Until then, I'm Tom Richardson, Tom Richardson. and I'm Parker Kelly. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.